Last month, we had the privilege of partnering with Perth Diesel Performance, a four-wheel drive company that specializes in modification and accessories for off-road vehicles. Together, we protected their Toyota Land Cruiser GR300 series with Expel Stealth Paint Protection Film and produced a video series together. What you're about to watch is a video that completely deconstructs the entire process undertaken for the GR300 and explores each aspect of the matting process in detail. You may have seen some parts of it up on PDP's YouTube channel, so be sure to visit their page and have a look at their full build series. I'll link it below. For now though, for a full breakdown of what we did to the car, sit back and enjoy. Hey guys, welcome to Mad Inc. My name is James and I'm going to be walking you through the process in detail of protecting this GR300 series Land Cruiser with Expel's self-healing paint protection film. PPF, as it's called, is the best product on the market for protecting your vehicle from damage and wear and tear. It's made from a multi-layered elastomeric polymer that holds its shape excellently and resets back to that shape whenever it is disturbed. It happens naturally with the heat of the sun, in a hot garage, or even with some warm water applied, but this process can be sped up with the careful application of a heat gun, as we recently demonstrated in a social media video. People who aren't aware of PPF technology or how it works are left in disbelief, but those who are leave with a car that is completely UV protected, hydrophobic, protected from stone chips, scratches, and any other minor damage, and will self-heal over and over again so long as it is taken care of. Expel invented the self-healing protection film that so many try to copy, and at Mad Inc we stock two versions. Expel Ultimate Fusion UP10, which is their absolute best top tier film they offer, and Expel Stealth, which is exactly the same but has a satin matte look finish to it. A great way to transform your car's factory paint colour to a matte finish, which is what PDP has chosen to do for their GR300. So let's get started. The process starts with carefully prepping the entire vehicle. This GR300 is not new and so has spent some time on the road already. The first part of working on the car is stripping it back to a perfectly clean base from which to start working with. This involves removing exterior accessories such as the vinyl branding and custom badging from the car. Then, before we inspect the condition of the paintwork, the entire exterior needs to be cleaned and decontaminated thoroughly. Here at Mad Inc, as part of the Gion Certified Detailers Network, we have access to the best in-class specialist detailing products not available to the general public. Our detailing team and PPF installers are factory trained and qualified in their respective fields and have years of experience working on every type of vehicle. Once the car is moved into our wash bay, the wheels are cleaned and decontaminated first as these will always be the dirtiest part of any vehicle. Road grime, brake dust and dirt that sticks to the wheels, inner arches and tyres are the most important things to remove first so that we're working with the body of the car, none of that contamination is being spread where it could cause damage such as scratches or swirl marks. Then the exterior body of the car is deionized. This is a step often neglected when cleaning or decontaminating a vehicle. And what it does is remove any iron fallout from the body that can often go unnoticed when visually inspecting the paintwork if you don't know what to look for. Gion's deionizing spray chemically reacts with the fallout and works to lift it from the surface it's stuck to. With the first step of the exterior decontamination complete, it's now time to wash the car. The car is treated to a Gion foam pre-rinse that safely lifts the dirt from the car's exterior in a very satisfying way. The thick, soapy foam soaks up the dust and dirt on the body of the car without us having to touch it. 
Using this touchless method means that we're not using any sponges or cloths on the vehicle and spreading that dirt around in a manner that's going to put swell marks or scratches into the paintwork. As the foam is left to sit and do its work, a soft bristled brush can be gently applied to rubber seals and trim edges to agitate any dirt that might be stuck to these areas, which can be pretty common for four wheel drives that see a lot of off road time. After the foam has been left to sit for several minutes, it's rinsed from the top of the car downwards to ensure that all of the dirt that's been lifted is falling off the car fully. Only now that the worst of the dirt and dust has been removed do we touch the body of the car for the first time. Using a microfiber wash pillow that won't scratch the paint, we use a two bucket washing method to gently go over one panel at a time, rinsing with that separate rinse bucket and grit guard as we move from panel to panel to agitate any dirt that was slightly too stubborn to be lifted by the foam. The car is rinsed down once again and closely inspected for any remaining contaminants that are more embedded into the paintwork. These are removed using a clay bar, a piece of putty that gently glides over the paintwork and removes the most stubborn of uh, embedded dirt particles. Clay barring is important because if you find these embedded contaminants in your paintwork while using your wash mitt, for example, and decide to apply a little bit of pressure and scrub it really hard, not only will you just end up scratching your paintwork, but you possibly won't even get rid of that spot you noticed in the first place. The car is rinsed down yet again and then dried using a heated blow dryer and Gion microfiber drying towels. It's at this point we use a bit of discernment and decide whether the paintwork needs a paint correction to reduce any scratches and swell marks that are visible and to smoothen out the paintwork to a nice glossy even finish. Most of the time, all cars, even brand new ones, will need a single stage correction at the minimum to reduce minor scratches and swell marks that have been put into the paint from factory or from improper washing prior to delivery or from time on the road. Although this GR300 is about a year old already, it's had a paint correction recently and didn't need any further polishing performed. The car is moved into our PPF bays which are climate controlled and kept dust free once all sealed up. Every single piece of paint protection film is drafted and plotted onto a template ready for cutting. As anyone who's ever worked with PPF before knows, paint protection film is an incredibly expensive material. So it's vital that template pieces are plotted as efficiently as possible. Once printed, each piece has any excess film removed and is cut out with its backing ready for application. With multiple people working on the car at once, it doesn't really matter where you start, it's just down to personal preference. To allow for a seamless installation, we remove any parts of the car that limit access to full body panels, such as badges, door handles, side mirrors, interior door cards, and we reinstall these later. We noticed a couple of stone chips that we filled in with some factory paint so that these won't be visible underneath the film. Unlike vinyl, stickers or decals, paint protection film is a wet application where special PPF gel, water and soap are all a part of the installation process in order to make the film easy to work with. The method of installing a piece of film is easy to understand but difficult to master. First, the freshly washed and decontaminated panel is rinsed down one final time with just water to remove anything that might be floating on the panel. We don't want to risk something as small as a piece of dust being just under the film once it's down. If we notice anything, we'll gently use the clay bar to pick it up so that we're not putting oily finger marks or cloth bristles on the paint. PPF application gel is generously applied to the panel and the piece of film is unrolled as close to the panel as possible 
so that a fully unrolled piece of film isn't being carried through the air where something might get stuck to it. Once the piece is perfectly aligned and key edges or corners are tacked so that the film rests in place, the gel underneath the film is methodically pushed out in a careful sequence and the film sits down against the panel. PPF template databases contain pieces that reach all the way to the edge of the panel, but at Mad Ink we do something a little unusual to what most installers would do, and we extend the edges of the patterns. These extended edges reach around the ends of the panel for a seamless fit with no visible edges wherever possible. It's an installation trait we've become quite well known for and are super proud of here at Mad Ink. We believe in doing a job properly with the highest attention to detail, to the fullest extent possible, where even an additional one or two percent of effort makes all the difference. Protecting a full car in paint protection film is a long and challenging process. Every panel shape presents its own unique challenges and every car is different from another. A full car installation can take anywhere from four to seven or more whole working days to complete. Towards the end of the installation process, we protected the rear windscreen with Steck Dynoflex windscreen protection film, which operates in the same manner as PPF, where its function is to protect the glass from stone chips that in this car's case might flick up from towing a trailer or caravan. Once all the paint protection film has been installed, checked over, and the accessory body pieces and badges have been reinstalled, the car returns to our detailing bays where work begins on the interior. It's thoroughly vacuumed, wiped down, and protected with our Gion interior protection products, which include a ceramic leather shield, fabric coating, and vinyl treatment all of which are UV protectant and work to stop spills and stains from causing damage. The finished product is carefully inspected before handover and now the GR300 now sits complete. If you want to see more of what we do, check out our social media, website or YouTube channel. But for now, let's take a walk around the finished product. To see the finished product as well as reactions and discussion with the PDP team, head over to their channel where you can watch their full GR300 build series. For now though, as past me has just mentioned, check out our social media to see more of what we do, but also for updates about the products and status of services we offer. Those following us will know that we are now fully booked for paint protection film availabilities for the rest of the year quickly filling up those last few spots I spoke about recently. If you have a brand new car that you're expecting to arrive in January or February 2024, then now is the time to get in contact with us and secure your booking. They fill up ridiculously quickly. So if you're keen, give our admin team a call or send an email and we'll slot you in. For now though, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out the stuff from the guys at Perth Diesel Performance and we'll see you next time.